So today I'm going to be showing you a list of different games that you can play if you're bored of Tarkov or if you want a game like Tarkov because you're halfway through the wipe or towards the end of the wipe and you're bored or you just want a game like Tarkov in general to play on the side. I've got you covered in this video. There's quite a few games that I am going to show you. I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible just shortly explaining the games and getting into it. I just want to say these games are going to be kind of like Tarkov so they're going to be either realistic or first person shooter or some sort of shooter in general with their own twist to it but it's going to be kind of similar to Tarkov it might not have the looter shooter element but it will be similar but before we get into it I really appreciate it smash the subscribe button and the like button it really means a lot I really appreciate it anyway let's get into it so the first game is Squad Squad's a first person tactical shooter where you have two teams of players on a battlefield trying to fight and take the tickets away from the enemy team you have a whole array of vehicles including tanks and helicopters and cars that are adding new factions there's loads of different factions including the canadians the americans and they're adding asian factions there's also british factions they're going to add the toyota gun trucks and all sorts of stuff it's looking great there's loads of new updates coming out this game is actually really good i played it myself it is quite realistic However, it isn't as realistic as Tarkov where you have to load your magazines and stuff like that. But I re definitely recommend you check this game out. I'm only going to do little reviews on each game to make this video as quick as possible. Okay, so the next game is Insurgency Sandstorm. I'd really recommend this game. It's actually really great. It's a realistic first person shooter where you can use any gun in the game. But you just got to manage the weight system and all that sort of stuff. It's great. It's got great gunplay, great mechanics and realistic shooting as people die in a couple of shots just like Tarkov. There isn't any manual reloading or anything in this game but it is a great realistic game and I definitely would recommend it. Even though the player base has decreased recently this game is great, it's gory, it's gruesome and it does the job, it gives you that realistic game fix. The game is a lot more faster paced than Tarkov but it is definitely a lot of fun and definitely worth your money. So the next game is Hell Let Loose, it's a world war base game and it's actually great it's realistic in t sense of the guns and the clothing and also the fighting is actually really great it's great mechanics with the guns and the animations are actually really good there's a new map which you're seeing in the background right now the Catran map which came out recently and bringing some life back into this game there's a lot of players on this right now and it's actually just a really great game i definitely would recommend this one the game is mostly infantry based with different classes so you can only have one sniper on a team and a spotter to help the sniper. There's different types of things like that that make this game unique and stand out. There's a lot of urban warfare in this game as well as long range battles so if you do like long range battles or urban warfare this is the game for you. I definitely would recommend this as I have played it before at a friend's house and it's actually really good as it does a good job of making you feel immersed in the game. There is also another game just like this called Postscriptum which is another realistic World War shooter but I believe Postscriptum is a bit more realistic than Hell Let Loose is. Just like Hell Let Loose there's a lot of urban warfare and long range combat. You got your snipers, your uh, some machine gunners your medics and all sorts it's an amazing game and i definitely would recommend this just like hell let loose i really like this genre of gaming it just looks great to play and it has great gunplay and mechanics also just to note these games are not as realistic as escape from tarkov is as escape from tarkov is quite realistic with the reloading of the magazines and all the mechanics and attachments on the guns so neither of these games are as realistic but they definitely will fill that fix that you need from a game like escape from tarkov okay so the next game i don't even need to explain everybody knows this game i thought i'd quickly just add it in just to remind you that if you are feeling bored of tarkov there are other games just like cod modern warfare you can go back to this and play this but the reason i put this in is because the black ops cold war uh, multiplayer tra trailer has not re uh, been released yet so i thought i'd put this in just to let you know that's going to be releasing on the 13th of november so if you want to wait for that you can get that and the multiplayer will be released for that on the 13th of november so i thought i'd just add that in there's also battlefield as well which i'm not going to put the gameplay in for because we all know what cod and battlefield are I just thought i'd let you know just in case you wanted to play these games again Okay, so next thing I have is Daisy standalone, or you can play the Armor 2 version of Daisy. Daisy is a first person and third person survival game, and it's also a shooter. You've got a world full of players, about 60 to 100 players, depending on if you're playing on console or PC, and it's full of people trying to kill you or being friendly with you. You can do a lot of role play, and it is quite realistic. 
meaning that you can kill animals, skin them, cook their meat on a stick, make a campfire, make a base. You've also got cars which you can build and put fuel in and drive, as well as helicopters now in the mods, modded version of the game. You've also got a whole range of guns and variety of guns and ammo types they can load into the guns. It's definitely a great game, great survival game, great realistic-ish game, and it's open world as well which is amazing. Once you start playing this game, you'll love it and you'll sink a lot of hours into it. I'd really recommend this. Okay, so what you're seeing in the background right now is Armour 3. I don't really know too much about this game, so I'm not going to baffle on about it. I haven't played it before, but I've seen lots of gameplay of, of it before. So it's a first, not even first person, it's first person and third person. It's a realistic shooter. It's loads of mods to it, loads of replayability, loads of maps. You can play as cops, you can play as the army, you can do a lot. You can fly planes and helicopters and stuff like that, loads of vehicles so many mods it's a very replayable game in my opinion from what i've seen before it's it's a very realistic shooter you can have uh, full-on firefights and teams and create your own missions but it does take a while and a lot of modding to do so there's a few youtube channels i'd recommend to watch if you do want to see armor um, gameplay including operator drewski he's a really good youtuber but yeah i don't really know too much about this game so i'm not gonna waffle on but this game is actually pretty good Okay, so the last game I have here is Vigor. It is the closest game to Tarkov. The reason I left it till last is because it isn't a PC game. It's actually only on Xbox, but I don't know if they're planning on bringing it to PS4 or PC, but it's not in the works right now. But it is the closest game to Tarkov from what I've seen before. I've really wanted to play this game. I haven't had the chance yet, but essentially you have a little base which you can walk around in, and from that base you have a few items and you go into a match full of other players it's kind of like a battle royale and if you survive you take out the loot that you found and put it in your base if not you die and you lose the loot and you cannot get it back just like Tarkov however there is an insurance system on this if people in that lobby pay a certain amount of gold you can all get your items back so it is a great game in the sense of Tarkov style in the essence of Tarkov it is similar to that where you go in, you go out, sort of a raid system where you lose your stuff in raid. But because it isn't on PC, I left it till last. Anyway, that's been it from me. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and also smash that subscribe. I really appreciate it. It really helped out the channel a lot. We're nearly at 200 subscribers, so that would really help me out. I'm going to be posting more of these sort of videos and gameplay videos of different games, including Mafia, Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed and Cyberpunk. So if you do enjoy that stuff, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.